Now I've had people ask me about my uh, steps here that I use for uh, clamping. Probably the easiest way to make those is uh, with a bandsaw. Uh, you can just make the pattern, cut it out with a bandsaw. But if you don't have a bandsaw, or you don't want to use it, or you want to use your CNC or whatever, uh, I've got a little program here that will make them on a CNC. Uh, basically what it is, is a 2x2 uh, two two strip you start off with, which is an inch and a half square, and uh, clamp that down to the table, like so. Uh, <clears throat> This piece is just over 12 inches. I want to see if I can get four of them out of there. So I'm going to leave the end unclamped and we'll start at the end and work our way over. Now the program will make one uh, step series at a time. And all you do is you hit run again. Clear out the X first. Hit run again to do the next one. Okay, now I've got a quarter inch flat uh, spiral bit in there. I set the uh, X so the center of the bit's right at the end of the part. Y is, uh, y is central. And I touched it off on the top. And now we're ready to start cutting. the cutter moved over and it stopped. Now to run another one all we have to do is go to the uh, computer 
and you'll notice that the uh, X is set at 1.875. So all we need to do is to clear that out. And then come back over to here. Now I put a, uh, another clamp here on the end. Move these two here over a little bit. And this is still sitting where it stopped, but since I cleared out X0 on the machine, it's going to start right here. Okay, that's two done. Now we'll just do the same thing, repeat the process. We'll come over here to the computer and uh, we'll clear the X again. And we'll come back over here. I'll move these two clamps over and then we'll uh, continue on. Alright, after uh, this third one was cut, I moved it over here, cleared out the X again. And this is uh, just so you can see what's going on here. There's three done. Now you'll notice that this first slot here is wider than these other steps. This is three-eighths wide. These are quarter inch. That's because when I'm done, I'm going to take this over to the table saw and I'm going to cut these right here, right here, and that'll separate them apart. So now I'll just continue on and uh, finish the rest of these. Okay, now here they are finished I got uh, six six of them out and part of the seventh one where I ran out of stock like I say it was only a little over 12 inches long so we got six full ones and this one here is missing a step I stopped it before it was done otherwise it would hit the clamp on the end but anyway that's that. Now all we have to do is take it over to the table saw and uh, you know cut it along the back side of this part here that's sticking up to separate them out. Okay now we're ready to part these out.
Okay, now we'll, uh, that's pretty much it, except for, uh, removing a few burrs. I'll just take the old sanding black here and knock off a few burrs. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I say, you have a bandsaw, you just cut these out on a bandsaw, but I wanted to do it on the CNC. Okay, now I got the burrs removed, pretty much. Now one nice thing about these is, if this isn't high enough, you know, you can always put them this way. That gives you a little more height. If you need more height still, what you can do is put them like so. Bring them up. I wouldn't go that high, but you know that'll that'll give you quite a bit more height on your back of your clamp. So use them that way or that way. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.